that was a special episode. That one definitely hit harder than the other one so far in this show. Welcome back for some more of the Pacific. Quick recap, last episode, we got a scene where scores of Marines were being killed while crossing an open airfield. Lack of water and intense heat assisted the Japanese and Lecky is going home, thankfully, finally, and the focus is now on Sledge and he's doing great so far. So let's get into this. Before we begin, I do want to remind you that you can vote on what I watch, see full-length reactions, and get early YouTube edits on my Patreon through the link in the description. If not, just make sure you subscribe or leave a thumbs up on this video if you do enjoy it. Really helps my channel reach a wider audience and I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. But now, it's time for the show. Let's go. The worst was waiting for us. U.S. intelligence had failed to anticipate the level of Japanese resistance. The Japanese had created an elaborate system. Yeah, how does it get worse than this shit? Underground fortresses? The intelligence had been what it should have been. I don't think we'd ever hit that island. It's something you never forget. He said Intel said they probably wouldn't even have ended up on that island at all. That's all that needs to be said right there. Counting the days. Or maybe his friends he's lost? I don't know. He used to not smoke. Just to do now. I need volunteers. Judging from those planes, I think it's the airfield we took a while back. This is the airfield from the last episode? Looks like we eventually took it though. Never run when you can walk. Never walk when you can stand. Never stand when you can sit. I guess that means when it's time to relax, you relax all the fucking way. Weak wool fabric for the military. It's nice to think my father might have had something to do with the blankets we sleep in. Wake me up in 20 minutes. <laughs> you get any break, you take advantage of it. Oh! How you doing? At least he's alive. I'm sick of seeing Marines dying, especially ones that we know who they are. And she was talking about this too. This must have been what she meant, PTSD. She just wasn't categorized as that yet. Stop. What the fuck are you doing? Who the hell was that? You don't get out of your fucking hole at night! Someone wasn't on guard duty? Someone fell asleep? Oh, friendly fire, damn. Someone's in there. Sledge has a good fucking ear. Oh! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh shit! Yards to your right. Oh no fucking way! So brutal. A light machine gun being swung at his face. You have to drop a grenade in there. Dude comes with a flamethrower or a tank shoots it and they run out and they pull out the sword. Like it was just fucking chaos, like brutality. They were not being taken alive. Oh shit, he's still alive? Christ, put him out of his misery. Mutilation on both sides. We saw what they did to the Marines in the first episode to try to send a message and we're cutting their jaws out of their mouth to get the gold. We're moving into the hills, come dawn. You can't dwell on it. You can't dwell on any of it. Try and get some rest, boys. People just learn to adapt, and those are the people you think that, oh, they're crazy, they're wild, like Animal from Full Metal Jacket. But it's it's like, nah, they're, they're surviving. This is the only way they can keep fighting and be proficient. Oh! How can you be expected to run through this? Oh, fuck. Fall back. They're still carrying him? I couldn't tell if that was his childhood friend or not. The faces are just all blending together. Even during their moment of rest. Some of the most craziest shit that's happened on the show so far came during the nighttime. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Shoot him. Shoot him. Holy shit! Damn, Jay, if it ain't coming out your mouth, it's coming out your ass. <laughs> Look like you in a sack race, Jay. 
<laughs> oh my god, you're making light of this shit? He almost got fucking killed. Sniper got the skipper. Captain Haldane? Akak's dead. Holy shit! The blanket that he associates with his dad that he was so proud of because it helped with the war effort was used to cover his face. This guy's head is just missing. No one's freaked out by it. Oh! He may never hear raindrops the same ever again. Or drips or splashes. Thought I'd bag me some Jap gold. You don't want to do that. Doc Caswell says all these dead nips have germs. Diseases that'll make you sick. I think he was just trying to keep him from cutting into that dude's mouth. He didn't want him to go down that road. Sledge is losing it, just like everyone else. I didn't expect him to be a super soldier coming out of this, just able to deflect everything. John Bassalone, even he told the guy, don't fucking do it. Don't be that guy. treasure this shit a great soldier's lighter fuck yeah they pushed way 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 back to kind of where they were at the beginning oh my god now there's nurses and food hi welcome back good to see you glad you look see now move along talking about a look see a glimpse of the of reality of normalcy just thrust it back into this man's life He hasn't seen a woman in how long? I forgot. Most of those guys haven't seen women in way longer than him. He's a kid. <laughs> that was a special episode. That one definitely hit harder than the other one so far in this show. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the Pacific Episode 7. Sledge was visibly rattled in this episode in the point where when it happens to other characters, whether in this series of Band of Brothers, you know, they hit that point of, of no return. Now they know what it means. It's, it's something that can't be taken away. The standout image and sound from this episode was when the water was dripping into that guy's skull. There's never a standout audio sound it's all war it all sounds the same but now something as simple as water dripping has so much more significance and it, it's going to trigger something in you that's not going to trigger in a normal person that's not even war that's the worst of humanity that's it's something you don't think about or have to think about or want to think about but they had to show it because that's the skill that everything was on that you would see just laying around no crazy meaning behind it that's just what it was don't worry, you'll get used to it until you lose your mind. You don't know where your line is. That's a part of the job. We're all going to find out at the same time what it is. And from the mouth carving, how he looked disgusted with that to the point where he was going to do it at the end. to the little gauntlet they had to run through the mortars where they picked up the guy who unfortunately was shot, but they still carried him out of there. Yeah, Sledge was looking bad. Those things were just a few moments that put him past the point of no return. A lot of familiar faces fall in this episode. The Marine who was being carried out as they were arriving. I know he's been with Lecky squad for a good amount of time. I'm pretty sure Sledge's childhood friend was the one that was hurt. Did he die? Yeah, I think he was the one that was shot. Oh no, there's just, there's just so many people. The fact that they were laughing at this guy who had his pants down while the Japanese soldier was chasing him to the point where they were just staring watching. Like, did they let him get close and just... I don't know. It did take them kind of a long time to shoot him. The dude ran pretty far. Maybe they just couldn't believe it. That's probably what it was. His ass cheeks were out. They made light of it. Either way, even the guy that shit his pants or shit himself, nothing is going to be out of place. It's just something that happened and it's probably going to escape your memory and you might not even get off the island to be able to remember it. I don't think he's going to be telling his kids that though <laughs> or his grandkids. And in the intro, they said all this chaos was due to failure in Intel. And Intel is everything. We, we know that in the current age, mounted an attack, they swore that this was it. Even them going in thinking that the bunkers were cleared, that's technically Intel, even though it's minor. And even that wasn't true. And same with the guy hiding in the cave. They were all so close to them. It could have got really bad. They could have been ambushed, but thank goodness for Sledge's hearing. 
what really got me was the towel though how the, the the guy spoke earlier about his dad worked in a factory textile in massachusetts contributing to the war effort i mean they're blankets they keep people warm they keep soldiers warm but you don't think about them being used to cover people's faces and sure enough it was used to cover his son's face it was sad that he died but it was just the fact that that same blanket that he was so proud of that you saw the smile on his face when he was talking about it earlier he was just gone it was used to cover his face that's what his main use was probably for and you don't think about it while he's talking about it but then you see it it, it was a lot for me since it ended with them smoking i mean damn so many people smoke now that didn't smoke before became smokers after war i mean it must be a great way to cope with shit because everyone eventually turns to it but seeing gunny in that state of mind when it was all over that alone just from watching the show or knowing him would be enough to tell you that the island that they just left may be the most brutal one out of this entire war or at least as brutal and when they left and they you saw far back they pulled it was like damn they were that far and high up of course it's gonna get that crazy should have had the right intel if anything stood out to you in this episode or there was anything i might have missed please tell me about it in the comments below i hope you enjoyed watching my reaction all i ask is that you leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet you can also vote on what i watch see full-length reactions and get early youtube edits on my patreon through the link in the description you guys are the best we're a family you know that that's it for me Till next time spread peace and love i'm out